Uh, hey guys, this is me, the Wise Barbarian here, and I know it seems kind of weird that my last video was going well with Soda Dungeon 2 uploads, and then I kind of just stopped for about a whole month, and now I'm coming back with this video, and here's the thing, there's a reasonable explanation. Okay. First of all, if you guys don't know, I'm still in high school, and this upcoming high school year is my last year of high school. And so here recently, I've been going through things to get everything set up for, I'm starting this thing called Votech. And the thing about Votech actually starts earlier than my actual schooling does. So like, when my assignments and stuff for actual school and time actually I start appearing and I'm able to do things, my Votech starts before that. At the time that I'm recording this, it is the second day before the day of, the, of my first day of Votech. So I have today when I'm recording this, then the next day, which is tomorrow, at this current point when we bring this is tomorrow, and then when I upload this, which is going to be on my first day of Votech, which at this point, for me, the day in between is tomorrow, because that's when I'm recording. But when you guys see this, that day that between this day and it will be considered yesterday. And I'm not going to explain time, but you know what I mean. And so basically, one thing I wanted to explain why I wanted to make an update video is because I wanted to, I wanted to record this earlier, but I'm glad I waited as long as I did. That way I'm able to explain the situation as best I could. But the thing about my previous school years and why I was able to upload and record videos to upload was because I normally had quite a bit of free time. And then normally the reason why I was some weeks that I didn't have those because I was kind of bad at managing my free time. You know. But this up and coming school year, this my last year of school, they have actually changed some of the rules of my schooling. So I do this thing called Epic Charter Schools, which is a combination of like homeschooling but with public school rules and whatnot. And the thing is, most years before, you never really had to do anything by to do that. You just had to make sure you had all your work done, you had good grades. This school year, though, this up and coming one, they've actually changed the rules a lot. I can no longer work super far ahead of pace. I have to work every day okay, to do a solid amount of technology solid amount of work, okay? Meaning I can't, I literally can't work ahead. And there's one thing that I always had problems with in school, and it's this assignment, it's called a unit activity. If you're a part of that big charge school, you know what a unit activity is. And honestly, I hate them. I never had to do a discussion, but I was always good at the mastery test because there were always like five simple questions. The pre-test one I wasn't that bad, and I was pretty good at Post-test, I was a little better than the mastery test, that's because I always did the mastery I had the or better than the post test, but that's because the pre test was already had knowledge and the post test had it after doing the mesh test. Yeah, but basically, point is though, the immune activities are always the hardest thing for me to do because they were like the most amount of work with like the least amount of info. Everything else, like the pre test, was a solid like 18 to like 30 questions with only whatever you already know, but the grade for that pretest wouldn't affect your grade for the actual class. So it would just affect whether or not you could get like mastered out certain times. The post test though had it was the same amount of questions, but you had everything from every other assignment to go off of. Not only that, but all the mastery tests have tutorials for them, which are like similar to the activities, but they're less like me, you know. You never had to do a tutorial unless you needed to redo a post test. Oh, this is what matters. And the thing about the activities, though, is that there's no tutorial in for that one. What you have to do is you have to go to the tutorial for the previous mastery test and look like towards the back half of it. And that's where it would give you ideas and like stuff for the unit activity. Downside is though, unit activities also really heavily required on like the knowledge and like what you answer for them and what you can answer for them really heavily like, it basically required you do them on specific days, otherwise there's no guarantee your answer would be the same as everyone else's. And a lot of times, because I never really had to do things in a specific order, I normally left all the unit activities for literally the end of the school year, you know, or at least the end of the semester. Because of that, I'd be going really quickly to the beginning of the semester, getting everything done very quickly, ahead of pace a lot, and then towards the end, I'd be falling behind slightly because I'm mostly just got the unit activities left, I'd be in a state of panic. This school year, 
I don't have the opportunity to be really ahead in the beginning. Because I can't work ahead. Because this school year, I have to make sure I do assignments on their due date. Meaning, I can't work ahead. The only, the only exception for whether or not I, or how far ahead I can work is if I do a pretest and get an assignment master out of from pretest. Otherwise, I can't do an assignment ahead of time. Meaning, I have to wait for the day the assignment is due to be able to do the assignment. And because of that, I'm going to have severely limited free time. Like, no free time at all. Because one thing to know about Epic Charge Schools is there is no such thing as weekends. I mean, there's never really an assignment due on Saturdays and Sundays, but there's no breaks. I won't, I'll probably end up working. If Christmas is any day between, including or between Monday and Friday, then I'll be working on Christmas as well. So while most of you public school kids are actually getting spring break, summer break, and fall break, and Thanksgiving break and all that stuff, I won't get anything. I just get, I have to work through it all. The only way I can take a day off, off is, is once there's literally no school left. I literally won't get a day off of school until like literally school is over for me. And because of that, I really won't be able to upload, partially because I won't be able to record. And you wanna know why the reason I won't be able to record? Because I have no free time to record. And since I have no free time to record, I literally will not be able to upload, therefore I will not be able to continue making videos for the channel. So because of that, I'm going to be placing a hold on current projects. Also, just a heads up, I'm, in my last update video, I mentioned something that I was planning on doing, but never got to do it. Now here's the thing, I want to mention right now what that thing was, and I'm going to explain why I wasn't able to do it. The thing I was going to do was a Rick and Morty Pocket Morty's Nuzlocke. And the thing about it is that I wanted to be the first person to do a Rick and Morty Pocket Morty's Nuzlocke because every time I search up on YouTube, there's no one doing such thing. So I kind of figured, hey, you know what? Maybe I could be the first. I could set the rules for it. I myself a good rule set. I could make a both a hardcore set of rules and a non-hardcore set of rules. Almost I could basically be the first one to, and I could potentially be the first one to beat a Rick and Morty Pocket Morty's Nuzlocke. The downside is, is that whenever I, I'm actually recording on the phone that I ended up doing, trying to do the first episode on. When I tried to record the first episode, I was only able to upper, record to a certain point. Because Rick and Morty Pocket Morty isn't that small of a game, you know what I mean? It's not that big of a game, but it's also that small. And one downside is my recording software takes up storage as it's recording. Like right now, as I'm recording this, my storage is being slowly drained by the recording software. To fill up and to make the video. And so because of that, every video I make, sometimes whenever I'm making a video, the recording software will just cut out. It will just stop recording. And it won't even wait till I'm literally at max, at max storage. It will like do it at some point in between. And the thing about the first episode that I tried to record was my main goal was to beat, at least beat the first of the Rick council members, mainly because, well, I figured that would be a good goal. It would be a good chief will goal for the first episode, since a lot, since you only really need three badges to be able to fight the first council member, and not only that, but you get your first badge after after the tutorial, no, after the first tutorial, you know. And so basically, one of us figured I'd try to beat the first. Council member, I was, called a, I was going to beat the tutorial and then beat the first council member. And I feel like maybe, maybe if I didn't, because I can't remember exactly how far I was able to get before the current self was just thought. But one problem is the fact that I know I record, now that I've started keeping a schedule, when I record, try and upload Soda Dungeon 2 of Road to 50 on Sundays and then trying to, trying to introduce a new series to upload on Wednesdays, which I guess this update video is going to upload on Wednesday and I think about it. That's my first day of school. Well, not first day, I think I'll vote tech. Yeah, but basically, what's gonna happen is, I'm going to be putting everything on highest. And just like though, the Southern Under 2 Road to 50 series will continue after I get back from school. 
we're just going to, um, this is going to be like my last video recorded and uploaded on the channel until I'm officially done with school. Once school starts, which will be in two days from when this is being recorded, but it will also be the day this is uploaded, I'll upload this in the morning while I'm getting ready for school. That way, hopefully, it will be uploaded while I'm at school. And so basically, once it's been uploaded, there will be literally no more recording for me. And here's the thing, I currently don't have anything recorded in advance to upload. So this is literally the last uploaded and recorded thing until I have officially like finished my last year of high school. Once I finish high school, once I officially graduate high school or get or find out I end up getting held back or something, I don't know. You know, so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to be if I'm gonna be able to get through high school this year. Because the whole reason I was put in epic charter school was was because I was, like, guess, unable to kind of get some assignments done in school. I was school, I was getting bad grades. And the whole thing at every charter school is it actually helped with my grades. But part of the reason why it did help with my grades was because I had more freedom to get assignments done. So I was getting some assignments done earlier because I could get them done earlier. And some assignments I was able to actually wait until I could actually handle them. And I wasn't, like, specifically... Well, early I didn't have to have them done on specific days. So because of that, I was able to have more freedom and get things done a lot more easily, which is why I was able to take my time more on them and able to get better grades. But now, all that is gone for this next school year. So because of that, there's a good chance I'm probably gonna get held back on my last year of high school. Now, I'm not, it's not my first time ever getting held back. I was held back in the first grade once, but that part is due to the teacher that I had. You know, a horrible teacher. I think I forget her name. I think I remember her name, but like also don't think I remember her name, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I believe I know her name, but like the problem is I'm not sure if that name that I remember her is, is actually her name. I'd hate to mention her name, but just thing to know is that, that teacher, at first she seemed like a nice person because she was always trying to go like good notes or whatever. And then like eventually she kind of just became, how I say this, she became a massive bitch. Like, she was just an ugly person. Yeah. And, like, literally the year, like, that's the school year when it ended, there was a lot of parents complaining about that teacher, apparently. I don't know if she got fired or what, because the next school year I was in a different first grade class. It doesn't even know. I take up to school now in Duncan. The teacher that I had when in first grade, though, that got me held back, she was, she was a Marlowe teacher. I don't know if she still teaches. At Marlowe Elementary, but she was a first. She was my first first grade teacher, and the reason why I say my first first grade teacher is because I went through many kindergarten teachers, and I never got held back in kindergarten. The problem was we ended up moving. My family we did. Well, I was born in Panama City, Florida, and well, we ended up moving to Duncan, or not the. We moved to Marlowe, Oklahoma, for a while, and we went along the way. Well, yeah, I went to two other schools, but one when, we were, when I was in Florida, huh? so young child, probably remember. And I went to one when, I was, when we stopped in Georgia, state of Georgia, when we had stopped some family of my dad's, I guess. I remember living with my dad, mom, and my brother, and we remember sharing with these two girls. I, I, don't, I don't remember their relationship, relationship to them. I don't think they were like cousins or whatever. I don't know. Well, basically, I remember one of the girls ended up breaking my dad's PlayStation. When I say PlayStation, I mean PS1. Not PS2, not PS3, not PS4. I don't think the PS3 was a thing then. I definitely know PS4 wasn't. No, the PS4 didn't exist. Then. And we, have, we have like two PS1s now. Then. But yeah, but they ended up like taking like the lid portion. Like the thing is supposed to go over the disc. Like shut the PS1. They ended up like breaking that part off. Luckily, though, to this day, the PS1 still works. Not surprising. I mean, as far as I remember, as far as I know, the thing still works. We haven't used it in a long time. Also, if you guys hear any like clicking or some sort of sliding motion in the background of my talking, I actually got new shoes today, and I'm I'm trying to wear them a little more. I don't like break them in or whatnot. I got some new shoes to wear around my house. In my house, right my parents. That's what I like. That's new shoes to wear around the house. 
I'm actually wearing them more because they're a little comfortable. So if you guys hear any, you know, like tapping or sliding in the background, that's probably me walking because I'm walking while I record this. Which, just need to know, uh, I believe in earlier school year, not school year, but just like summer, earlier the summer, I don't know if I remember or I like mentioned this on my last day video. Part of the reason why I didn't upload for a while. And this I probably should have mentioned in the previous update video, so this is not really the old this is not really big news, this is more old news. But like I know like cutting my foot open in ass and now there's still like a, you still see like some of a scar from where I got stitches. And part of the reason why I didn't upload then because it was because I prefer to walk while I record my videos. I prefer to be in some form of motion. That way I'm able to cohesively talk and cohesively think better. Because since my body is like walking a little bit, it's able to let me think and talk a little bit more subconsciously. And because of that, and also if I just pause talking for a bit, it's because I'm one of those people who swallow their saliva instead of just spitting it out. So yeah. But basically... I'll be able to talk better. That's the most time something happens to my legs when I'm unable to walk. It's better to just not record because I know the recording won't be as good. Also, so as I stated, this will be the, the last video I make until the end of my school year. When I do finish my school, once I graduated, once I finish celebrating, once I have officially acquired my freedom and free time. I'm going to start uploading again. I'm probably going to make a video first explaining whether or not I graduated or not. Because I do plan to at least try to graduate, but now that schooling is now basically doing public schooling at my house, that's meaning the only difference is instead of being you know, able to use the teacher's whiteboard and have the teacher explain, I have to Google, you know. But like this time, I have like less to. This time, you see, one thing I always like about public, about, about the homeschooling of the charter schools is the fact that even though I didn't have my friends with me, I still had other benefits for, like, I had more freedom in how and when I did my homework. Now, now though, in the subsequent school year, like, I'm sure it used to be better than public schools. Now, charter schools is worse than public schools because now it's just going to public school, but without my friends, pretty much. Luckily though, I don't have any like state testing this year, but sadly that really doesn't matter because the only reason state testing affected anything this last school year was because like I had I tried to upload this channel, I tried to record and upload for this channel while I was doing it, and those state testings kind of made it where like I had to just not record or upload because I was prepared for the testing or not. Now I know I haven't been having a good upload schedule or anything throughout the entirety of my channel. I tried, okay. Problem is, I know we don't have much free time, and I'm also not very good at managing my free time. I try to manage my free time by making sure I have the most enjoyment out of my free time as possible, because I really don't get free time very often. You know, like I know some of these videos tend to be about 30 minutes long, uh, which implies that oh, you got to have at least 30 minutes with free time. You should time for this, like. But the problem is, a lot of times. I not that I want that I don't get too much, enough free time. It's the fact that my free time is spread out throughout the entire day, with lots of like work in between. A lot of times when I stop upload, I'll stop recording a video to upload it. There are a million things I'm doing while the video, you know, is uploading. Or not. Like I have to, like I literally just get done doing something before, or I start the video, and then like immediately have to go do something after I record the video. And then a lot of times when I set something up in the morning. And to upload, a lot of times I have to, because here's the thing, I have ADHD and anger management issues and allergies, and I have to take medicine for all three in the morning, plus the vitamins, apparently I have whatever, I have the vitamins, I have to have random multivitamins, health as well, whatever. And so basically, yeah, I have to take all this stuff in the morning, and a lot of times that's like the number one priority on my mind when I wake up in the morning is to make sure I take my meds, because I know if I don't, then I get off the, bouncing off the walls crazy, a little bit violent, you know, and all the other things. Things that me with my meds would find annoying. 
This helped me with my meds is that I'm more or less able to handle being calm and collective and knowing that my friends off the walls. But I'm saying not to the walls, like energy walls, be kind of annoying. Meanwhile, without my meds is some sheer like embodiment of bouncing off the wall of style energy. Being a pure being being a being of pure chaos. I kind of stumbled on my own words there. So yeah, and so basically all the time I'm prioritizing things I managed, and it'll be almost lunchtime before I realize, oh wait, I forgot, I gotta upload an insert video here. And then once I do a video, then I have to go to the recording software, so you know how to find some way to skip whatever ad it's picking, it shows me, and then I also have to, well, and I also have to set the video, like, Type in the title, the description if necessary, get rid of the tag, tag um, the because the thing the thing about the recording software I use is that it kinda auto fills some sort of like tag or whatever thing whenever you like make a video. So I always delete that though. Cause I'm not trying to promote this video recording software that barely works, you know what I mean? Even though I know by mentioning how bad it works, that's that's where most of the videos I use tend to not get monetized, but because I don't get monetization anyways, but they tend to like get corrupted or something. I know whenever I talk about the software itself in the videos, as I'm recording, the videos itself seem to get corrupted. Somehow it's like, it's almost like talking bad about it makes it worse somehow. I mean, I know it's kind of stupid to say, but it is true though. Like there have been several times where I've been recording using one of the, like these one of like the two corny softwares I've used in my life for videos that I mention any badness about the sort of software tend to be the videos where the recording software like seems to like just corrupt the videos, but it doesn't like corrupt the videos until because one of them I it didn't want like the my recording software I used for this one would literally corrupt the video while it's being uploaded to YouTube. So like, I'll have it recorded you know, the entire time it's just sitting in my files and whatnot it's inside the recording app. And the video is perfectly fine. The second I try uploading it to YouTube, midway through the upload, it would corrupt. And it would be like, it be this major problem because like, it used to be when I was still doing the Planes for Zombies 2 and all the other stuff that I did, a lot of that stuff, I was always trying to get as much recorded and much uploaded as possible. Cause I was trying to get like a good start to my channel. Now it's too late. I've done too many videos. It's too late to get like a fresh start for my channel. I'm already screwed pretty much. You know. I mean, I don't know. I still have a chance. I can get my channel redeemed. But the problem is, I while I'm still in high school, until the end of the school year, there's no way I'm gonna have to record and upload. There's no way I'm gonna have a redemption for my channel. But once I once summer. Comes back when this is back to summer break, then I'll officially be able to record and upload again. Not only that, but since this upcoming school year is my last year of school, except for college, it's my last year of high school. That basically means that I will officially literally have all the free time I could ever want. And what that means is that I could also, well, and also finally start recording more, have more time to record, much more free time. Because I wouldn't have, excuse me, during this entire summer, I haven't had much free time really either. But that's because there's been things like going on this summer. Like, for instance, when summer first started, I had to head to Florida because my Nana was dying. Then later we went to the beach, each and then I ended getting my foot cut open. And for an entire week, I had to lay and do nothing but lay in bed. Cause I couldn't walk on my foot because I had stitches in it. So then uh, for a few like weeks or days after I got the stitches out, I had to basically try to recover from it because my foot. So I guess I wasn't walking on my foot at all and as I wasn't walking on it, it, w it wasn't really a damn thing to be set on. So even, so like the last two days I had my stitches in, my mom and dad tried to get me to walk on my foot because the last two days that I had my stitches in, I had them in literally two days after, the last two days were the two days after I was supposed to get the stitches already taken out. 
My mom and dad told me to go and just walk on my foot with scissors in it, and it hurt a lot. Eventually, I got the scissors out, and it still hurt a lot. And after I got the stitches out. So, yeah. And then later, and uh, I ended up having a bunch of more things happen. Things started happening like, later in the summer when my mom had a friend who was moving out of an apartment building into my friend's dad's house or whatever. And then we had to help them move, which that happened, I think, after my last video that I made. So, like, that was part of that. So we had a few days, I'm like, I don't know, lose one day of help in the hot heat of Oklahoma, just helping them move. And then, let's see what happened next. There's something else happened a little more recent. Oh yeah, and then July, towards the 20th, that was my birthday, so I figured, you know, I can take a break for my birthday, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. And that was like the most recent thing. And I guess what is something else I'm forgetting about? Yeah. Well, here most recently, I think some point after my birthday, we ended up finding a kitten off the streets, and we finally got a name. His name was Hannibal. Well, the reason why we named him Hannibal was because he likes to bite, and his other girlfriend is a killer or whatever named Hannibal Lecter. So I guess he used to bite and bite his victims or whatever. So we named the kitten Hannibal, and I didn't make the decision. My mom and dad did. It. Dad made a decision on Hannibal. Because the kid likes to bite everyone and it's so adorable. The thing about me is I've never been like hurt by most like cat scratches or cat biting me. I've never really seen much damage from it, you know, both emotionally or physically. Worst case scenario, or as in the worst case scenario, not the worst case scenario that's ever happened, is that I could potentially bleed out from a cat scratch. But in that same, but like, that was like the worst case scenario possible. That's not, no, it's not even close to the worst case scenario that's ever happened. Worst case scenario that has happened was I literally find a really long and big scar like a few days after, or, or I notice a big scar a few days after getting it or however long I've seen it. See, sometimes I find, I look at myself and I find random scratches on my body from when a cat scratched me because I never really noticed the cat scratched me when it did. So I'll find it like hours and days later. And I won't notice it because it won't be hurting or anything. It would just be a visual mark. And I'll, I'll be honest, I don't really look at myself that much. I'm I'm not one to like flex in front of the mirror. If I look in the mirror, I, I, I make stupid faces. I stick out my tongue, open my eyes wide, and blah, 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 blah. Just, I, I just make funny noises. If I look in the mirror, I make myself look goofy as frick. You know? I, I'll just make silly faces and have some fun goofing off in the mirror, pretty much. That's just the way I am. That's like the only reason I ever use a mirror, pretty much, is to goof off in front of it. Make yourself look stupid. Make funny faces. So I think that's everything I wanted to say for the video. How long has it gotten? 28 minutes. Yeah, even my other videos are long. Well, that's because I go over everything in that day, you know. I go over both past things, present things, and future things. You know, I try to cover everything I should need for an update as much as possible. You know? So, once this is uploaded, I literally will not be recording or uploading anything until the school will be over. So, the day of school is my last day of school. Either my last day of school or the day after the last day of school. I will be recording a video to celebrate, to let you guys know the plans I will have decided for the channel. Just letting you know, Soda Legend 2 will stay on the channel. Okay, I am finishing that series, even if it kills me. But, I'm not going to risk my ability to pass the 12th grade for the channel so that will be continued but only after school is over so that's serious so so stay tuned so, oh, i guess i'm gonna say stay tuned because that implies i'll be recording recently really so just wait for wait, once once the end of school hits keep an eye out for that video and you'll see when i'm back to recording and once i'm back 
I plan to try to record more often, try to record and try to upload more like schedule so systematically. See, the thing is though, I have no idea what I'm gonna get for Christmas this year. Kind of hope, cause I feel like I feel like the thing is, if I did this series last year, if I did this last year where I where I ended up like if like how I'm doing now, where I'm planning on stopping during school with my just to focus on my schoolwork or not, I feel like you guys would probably end up having to deal with the fact of how I have a new phone. Cause last Christmas is actually when I got the phone I use now. Before I got this phone, this is the only device I've recorded it on other than my tablet, I'm pretty sure. And the thing is, my tablet is like a really old tablet that I got like years ago. And it really doesn't have like any storage to it or anything like that. It's a very small tablet. And if you know, and if you know anything, if I know anything about phones and tablets, it's like, well, it tends to be the bigger phones and tablets tend to have a lot more storage than the smaller phones and tablets. Where if the phone is smaller, it tends to have less storage space than the phone that's like really big. And a small tablet tends to have a lot less storage space than a tablet that's really big. And so because of that, I have right now in my hand like a very medium sized phone in a way. Like it's not very big. It's got, I believe, it at least it's got like 18 gigabytes of storage. But one problem with this is the fact that Every phone tablet ever always has those apps that are installed by like, the device itself that you literally cannot get rid of. You can only uninstall updates of and like maybe disable the app in the settings, but you literally cannot get rid of those apps. And because of that, those apps tend to be what take up like a majority of the space on a device. And sort of because of that, it ends up becoming this problem where even some of like, the bigger tablets and they don't have very much space on them because they have so many of those like Samsung or Google or whatever apps that are made by the companies themselves that like make the phone or tablets where they like have, like, so, and there's literally a game that came with my phone that I literally have disabled. Cause if you go here, there was like in the G section, there was like a Game of Thrones game or it's a Game of Thrones Conquest. And I don't even like Game of Thrones. You know, so I got rid of it. And the downside is I couldn't uninstall the game because it was built into the phone. You know, it wasn't something you can get rid of. It was something you gave, it was given to you for free that you could not get rid of. You know. And because of that, the only thing I could do to get rid of it was to basically disable it in my settings. Go settings on my apps and you go and you know, disable it and you get rid of all it's like updates and all that stuff. And because of that, there is a the situation where a small bit of storage on my device is taken up by a v by a game that I don't even like. And there's literally nothing I can do about it because the game came with the phone and therefore is a part of the phone itself, meaning you are unable to get rid of it. I mean, I'm not even able to get rid of it. You know, no one is able to get rid of it. Because it came with the phone. And as so, it became a part of the phone. So, yeah. So, basically, yeah, there are quite a few device, like video games, there's apps on my phone, and even on my tablet that I have that I do not want on those devices, which I can completely get rid of. But I literally can't get rid of there's one device, the one app I had on my phone, which is one of the many apps that your phone installs on you. And for some reason, I was able to actually get rid of the app. And I don't know how, because I got rid of it accidentally. And as you may know, on my earlier update videos, I had like an e-view wallpaper that would actually interact with. Now I have this screenshot I took of a, of a blue axolotl well, that I found in a Ben 10 Minecraft map. Can't tell it's Ben 10 because it's really only the water and then the blue axolotl. But one day I was playing on my with my brother, I was playing Minecraft Pocket Edition. And what happened was we were searching for Omni tokens in the free play mode. And I was in the water because I kept actually driving cars in the water. Or because I was driving towards the beach. And sometimes I go to the edge and I have to get very far out to water to try. I had to get to like a specific point 
be able to get back on plan. At one point, I was able to get close, and I ended up finding one of the rare blue axolotl. And I was finding like a blue axolotl. So when I found the blue axolotl, I took a screenshot and I made it my wallpaper. And then like, and I just kept the screenshot for a long time. And then eventually, I accidentally uh, like installed my ability to have live wallpapers. And after doing that, with no way to recover it, I decided to make this my wallpaper. Which is why my most recent update videos have had this as the wallpaper in, or in the tile instead of the Eevee that I had, which is part of the Pokemon wallpaper thing. Yeah. You can only only get on like, certain devices, but with some sort of like wallpaper APK thing or whatever, I was able to like, I guess like the correct term, like emulate it. So yeah. So yeah, but basically, so yeah, basically, that's the whole reason why I am unable to get that wallpaper back. And so basically, as I was saying, kind of always the thing that started this whole line of cartoon was the fact that when I started recording my first episode of Rick and Morty Pop Boys Nuzlocke, what ended up happening was, well... I am recording up to like a certain point and the recording's cut out and there was nothing I could really do to make it where I record longer or then I just like restart and I record longer or whatever. So I kind of gave up on recording it, you know. And I think it was around this time where I was like uh, recording and uploading to turn to get more Saw Dungeon 2 out, which is like what happened like after the upload and having some like point whatever. I had like 9, 10, 10.5 and then 11. Yeah. And so basically, and after that, that's when I kind of stopped recording for a long while. Like, at least at this point, it's at least a month, which means this was around the time where I stopped recording because of my birthday. Because I think right now it's like, what day is it? That's eight. Yeah, that's around the time I stopped recording for like the 4th of July and then my birthday. And, uh, so it was my. So yeah, so it was basically a long while without recording. And now that I'm two days away, or including today, I'm two days away from my first day of school, my first day of Bowtech, I'm technically called. And I won't be at, once Bowtech starts for me, I literally will not be able to record or upload anything until I've officially finished high school. Well, it's luckily this is my last year of high school, which is basically why I can like you say I'm finished high school and not finished by this school year. But once I do get back into school, I will get back into recording once high school is ended for me. I'm going to make the update video, which is going to have my voice, and I'm probably going to go right back into like the silence. I'm not going to be forever a YouTuber that doesn't use their voice since I don't have the ability to edit text on the screen. I don't really know how to. I try to communicate like that. And the downside about when I try to record without using my voice, I have to turn my microphone off and there's no like way to record internal audio. So when I turn my microphone off, it turns off my voice. But also... Sorry, I had to pause the recording. You probably heard the door in the opening when I paused it. But basically, my brother walked in, so I had to tell him to really leave while I finished recording, so I probably better hurry up. Then, uh, what was I saying again? I kind of continued off while I was, like, while I paused it. But basically, what was I saying? I'm afraid. Yeah, that's good. It probably wasn't that much important anyways. Okay, so, real quickly, before I sign off, I'm going to tell you guys the rules. For a Rick and Morty Pocket Morty Nuzlocke. Because even though I I kind of want to be the first person to do it, I also don't want to have to wait, let people wait until like, I'm able to record it. Oh, no, I remember what I was going to say. I was going to talk about how. I, I remember the gist of what I was talking about. I don't remember exactly what I was saying. But I don't know. I was talking about how I was going to record more. I was talking about how I was going to record more. Oh, it's a bit once I got back. I was going to start with the silence, but I was going to try to make this some, with this, like, 
once school started after summer, which was at a time where it would only start for my brother and sister, at that point I was planning on going, I was going to like record while my brother and sister are at school. That way I can actually record with my voice since the only people that would be here would be my mom. And as long as she doesn't keep the TV out too loud, I should be able to record just in my room with my voice. And as I was mentioning, basically, the thing is, I could not record with my voice. And when I, the only way to record my voice was like the same way that I was recording my game audio. And the reason, the way I was recording my game audio was by, it was through the microphone. The microphone was also how I was recording my voice, and I was getting like everything else in the background. So for me to record, my, so for me to stop getting everything in the background, everything in my voice, and everything, I also had to turn off the microphone. But when by doing this, it also turned off the only way it was actually recording my game audio. Because for some reason, it couldn't record my game audio when I set the settings to internal audio. For some reason, it said it would only record the internal audio of like supported apps. So I'm guessing that meant like I could only like record if I was recording like Google Chrome or something like that. And Google Chrome is not a video game. Uh, so yeah, so it was either I, rec I, I record or very little with constant background audio or I record more or more often with like no audio at all. I'll be honest, I figured it would be better if I recorded without audio and I would perform more often than have to constantly go over a complete checklist that always took too long to be able to record. <laughs> so yeah, and so basically what I plan to do is I plan to kind of have the summer when after, after I make the video announcing that I'm back, I plan to have it be a silent summer event or during the summer time. I'm going to record without audio, but then once I, once school starts back up for my brother and sister, because my brother is only going to his first year of high school this school year, so I'll have like, so he has like three more school years after this up and coming school year, I got it, and my sister, she's going into her last year of elementary school, so there's also that, so those two still have school and I don't. I won't, I should say. I still do now. It's a little bit of my last year of high school. So after this school year, my brother will be going to his second year of high school. And my sister will be going to her first year of middle school. And then and then once those years start, I'll officially... And then basically after those years start, I'll officially have like three years, including those things, years before my brother is officially out of school. So that'd be at least three years for me to work on my YouTube channel, but I tell you mostly three school years with with actual voice. Because once uh, once summer starts off, we should be able to actually record. But since my brother and sister will also be taking their summer break, I won't be able to record with audio because of the major reason why I don't record with audio anymore, which is because they refuse to be quiet in general. Okay, they're very loud people, which is weird, I'm a very quiet person myself. I say, you know, I've been talking for about 40 some minutes, you know. But there's been a few breaks where I didn't break the breeze, and fall in saliva. Other than that, I've been talking for a while. But that's mostly due to my ADHD. Now I hear my mom in the background, she's all young at the dog. Dogs do not like to behave at all. So yeah, but as I was saying, the, the summer is going to be a silent summer when I get back. And then once school starts for my brother and sister, or I will, like after this school year, and then the next school year, basically when school starts, then I'll be able to bring my voice back into recording this. So yeah, but as I was about to say, that's my last thing, before I remember what I was talking about. So I'm going to discuss the rules for a Rick and Morty pocket and Morty's Nuzlocke. Now, here's the thing. Rule number one is that you are only able to capture the first wild Morty that appears on your camera, on your field of view, 
whenever entering into a new dimension. Meaning for each time you go through a portal into the new dimension, not including a portal, you go to the Citadel, that counts as one dimension, yeah. So you should be able to get essentially one Morty for every badge you've collected. Yeah. Every time you go into the portal in the Citadel to get a badge, you can essentially capture one Morty for one of those areas. And so basically, you, but you were only able to capture the first Morty to appear on your screen when walking through the area. And when I, and when I said the first Morty, I mean the first wild Morty. So the first wild Morty to appear on your screen is the Morty that you have to capture. Since there's no like random encounter settings, I figured this was a way to substitute the random encounters. That way you can't just like kind of look at all three and then like just randomly choose one to capture. Actually, the first one that appears on your screen, which means you have to be very vigilant on your screen. And then when a Morty appears, like the first wild one to appear is the first one you were able to capture. Or is the only one you were able to capture. Meaning if you kill that Morty or just avoid it entirely, you won't be able to capture it. Now if two Mortys appear on your screen at the same time, I don't know how some high way in some ways how Mortys will like wander the screen in different ways, meaning they'll even wander when they're off screen. And because of that, there will be certain times where basically you might end up walking in and you're like two of them will appear on the screen at the same time. At that point, you must ass first assess the two Mortys, figure out their two typings, figure out the typing of your team. At that point, you must flip a coin, and like you need to choose whether or not which one goes to heads or which one goes to tails. With one side of the coin, you must pick the one that you that has the that's stronger against your team, and tails you must pick the one that's like weaker against your team. You know? And when I say stronger, weaker, I mean typing wise, because in Rick and Morty, Pocket Morty, there's like essentially four types. There's one which is no type, and then there's three which are rock paper scissors. You know? There's rock, paper, and scissors type. If your team is mostly scissors or mostly paper or mostly rock, then that will decide like what your team is, which one is stronger in your team. So if you have, let's say you have regular Morty on your team, which is no type, you have two rock types, and then I'll, and then no, no, scissors, two scissor types. And I believe you have like up to, we you have to no, no, you have five on your team. Let's say you have like. One, like, you have regular Morty, you have two rock types, one scissors type, and one paper type. And let's say you count two Mortys at the same time. Yeah. Now, depending on the way you decide, with, and I say you can count two Mortys. One Morty is a paper type, and one Morty is a scissors type. And when you flip a coin, you must choose whether or not heads will be the one that you pick the one that's stronger against your team, or tails is the one that's weaker against your team. If you want whatever one you choose to get the stronger one, then you must go with whatever one ha has, whichever one has more type advantages over your team. So if you have a regular Morty, which is no type, two rock types, a paper type, and a scissors type, then you, if you go with the one stronger, you must choose a paper type. If you go with the one that's weaker, you must choose the scissors type because of the two rock types. Now, if you have two typeless Mortys, one rock, one paper, one scissors, and then you run into a Morty, and then you run, and at that point, there's no like general way to know whether or not someone is actually stronger or actually weaker, because you have an even amount of, of Mortys. And at that point, what you want to do is, you want to just assign the two Mortys, each a random number value, you either one or two, or sign one like this one has, this one has, and just flip a coin that back. Or you just do a random number generator to make the minimum or maximum of one and two, and then have that do it for you. Or it's just a Google flip coin situation. So yeah. And then basically, since there's no way to name any Mortys or whatnot, so we don't have to worry about a rule like that. But then there's also the, more, the rule in Pokemon that's like, uh, how a Pokemon fans dies. So, and the way this works, and Rick and Morty Pocket Morty's is in a Rick and Morty Pocket Morty's Nuzlocke. If a Morty faints, 
it is considered dead and must be kept at the daycare. But if you're doing a hardcore run of the game, then the dead Morty must be released. And here's the thing. In a non-hardcore, you can actually choose whether or not you want to release it or just keep it in the in the box. Or not in the box, in the daycare. But in the hardcore, you have to release it because it's supposed to be hard. And the reason why hardcore you have to release it, but in regular you get to choose, is because rule number three, which is Morty's are allowed to be combined. And this will you are allowed to combine Morty's in the Morty Day chair. But and here's the thing, this rule is both for regular and hardcore. So I but the rule is a little bit different in the hardcore variant. So right now I'm gonna explain the non-hardcore version of the rule, then I'm gonna explain the hard the, the hardcore version changes. But just so you know there's more to explain with the non-hardcore rule than there is with the regular hardcore rule. So the non-hardcore rule version of the rule, of rule three, is basically you are allowed to combine Morty's in the daycare if you have the required ways to create an evolution. Now, when creating, when combining Morty's, you are allowed to use both alive and non-alive. You will use non-fainted and fainted Morty's in evolution, but the resulting Morty that you get from the evolution will be considered or whatever the Mortys that were, uh, were used to combine it are considered. Meaning if you use two non-fainted Mortys, then the Morty is considered non-fainted. But if you use two fainted Mortys to combine it, then said resulting Morty is also considered fainted. Meaning it will also be considered unable to be used. But, if you combine a non-fainted Morty with a fainted Morty, then the Morty is also considered non-fainted, since a non-fainted Morty was used to mitigate. Meaning, meaning that any Morty combination, whenever you fuse two Mortys together, it's going to have at least one or two Mortys you're fusing to be non-fainted, otherwise the resulting Morty will be considered fainted. Now you can still fuse two fainted Mortys together, if you have, because most more reason you have three stage evolutions and they require it to be fusion to reach those evolutions. Sometimes it's good if you do have two fangs and more you can still fuse them together so that way once you, like if they're first stage evolution fangs and more you can still fuse them together to get a faint and non second stage. And that way if you ever do catch a regular second stage, you can fuse the non fainted second stage with the fainted second stage to get a non fainted third stage. Yeah. Now, hardcore version of that rule is that you are allowed to, to combine only non-fainted Mortys. And that's partially because of rule 2 and the fact that any Morty you, you have that faints must be immediately released. Now, very technically, you can't actually release your first Morty with your main Morty, but we can take them out of the team. So they always have to stay in the box in the version. Now, I don't know if you can remove them or if you can release them, but I do know you can remove them from the team. There was they added that in an update around the time that I actually started doing my first episode. So yeah, and not that, but there's the the one rule that's left for me to explain. I already explained the first three rules. There's one more rule for me to explain. That is a hardcore rule, and it's in hardcore you must limit yourself to one or two items. I'm you limit yourself to a maximum of two items per battle. The one of the hard rules isn't that you have to do it without battle, without items, but the fact that you must limit yourself to only a maximum of two items per battle, and you are not allowed to use any Mr. Meeseeks box. Or, potentially, if you want, you can just have it. You need to choose to do, there's two versions. One, you are allowed to have only a maximum of two items per battle, or the same rule, but this time you're allowed to use two items or one Mr. Mises box. So you're allowed to use two items or one Mr. Mises box. But not, not we can't, if you do choose to use two items, you can't use a Mr. Mises box. So if you want to use your first item, that item has to be either a Mr. Mises box or something else. Because once you, because if you have, if you use something else, your second item cannot be a Mr. Meeseeks box. 
So yeah. And so that's basically the rules for said Nuzlocke. You, you can only capture the first one that captures it on your screen. You can, you can only, if you have more defaints, is considered dead. And you must either put it in the box or release it, or in hardcore terms, you must release it. You may combine any non-fainted or fainted more you use. You use you know, any fainted and or non-fainted more together. Or in hardcore variation, you may only combine non-fainted more use. And then for the last rule, which is a hardcore rule, excuse me. You're going to only use a maximum of two items or one Mr. Beastie's box per battle. And so that's basically all I wanted to say for this update. I mean, I got everything done. I don't know how long I made to do that. It's about almost an hour long. So this is going to be the last episode. Or last video, actually. The last video until I officially finished high school. And I'm going to be uploading this my first day of school. Well, not my first day of actual school, more like my first day of Bowtech, which is something that my school does. The most schools do in Oklahoma. That's kind of like a bonus thing you can do in your last two years of high school. So my first day of Bowtech starts the day after, or I'm the day after the day I'm recording this. Or actually, not the day after the day I'm recording this, but the day after the day after the day I'm recording this. So the day after what is currently as I'm recording this tomorrow, but the, what will be the day before this is uploaded. So like what is currently now as I'm recording this is tomorrow. The day I'm recording this. Or the day I upload this. That day, same day would be considered yesterday. At the time of recording this. Or the time of uploading this. As I said at the beginning of this update. I'm not good at explaining time. Or long certain time of artificial construct created for people who don't have who don't want free time very much. It's artificial construct people created by people who care too much about little things. They don't have anything to play. I work on my daylight and sure that kinda of fucks me over or, or when it comes to like the changes in seasons between winter and summer. But hey, I just, I occasionally adjust to the time change on that. So whatever. So I guess that's gonna be it for this update video. That's gonna be it for until the end of school. So this is gonna be the Wise Barbarian signing off. Bye for now.